हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज धर्मेंद्र मोजिद्रा एंड यू आर वाचिंग गुजराती चेस जोन टुडेस लेसन अबाउट द स्कैंडिनेवियन डिफेंस हाउ टू विन अगेंस्ट स्कैंडिनेवियन डिफेंस आई विल शो यू सम ट्रिक्स फॉर ओपनिंग विथ ई4 व्हिच विल हेल्प यू विन अगेंस्ट स्कैंडिनेवियन डिफेंस और देयर इज वन मोर नेम फॉर स्कैंडिनेवियन डिफेंस नेम इज सेंटर काउंटर सो यू कैन आल्सो known as center counter what is scandinavian defense is uh, here is white plays e4 and black plays d5 this is called scandinavian defense so scandinavian defense is most popular opening the structure for this opening is uh, like uh, e takes d5 after queen takes d5 this is main line of scandinavian defense and other way is e4 d5 after e takes d5 black will play here knight f6 this is called modern variation so there are two main variations of scandinavian defense first main variation uh, after queen takes d5 and second uh, modern variation the second move black plays knight f6 so both lines we will study today and okay let's start e4 black plays d5 after e takes d5 first we will study about knight f6 let's see knight f6 first then we will also see about the uh, queen takes d5 so please be patient and watch this video till the finish after knight f6 white should here give a check with is a b5 after b b5 black's common move is bishop d7 now black can offer a pawn by moving and be decision instead of bishop b7 so black can also offer you a pawn to save your pawn by moving his bishop and b d7 for stop your check but after i suggest you have to play knight f3 don't save your pawn you should give back it to you after knight f3 black will take your pawn by knight takes d5 d4 c6 black plays most common move c6 here after c6 white bishop retreat to bishop e2 now black plays e6 white should castle here black can play bishop e7 but after c4 black will comes in trouble how knight f6 knight c3 after queen c7 r1 now black should castle here after castle bishop f1 a tricky move and also a waiting move after bishop f1 black can play here a6 and white can play bishop to g5 this is a very good pawn structure for white here you can see c4 d4 controlling the b5 c5 d5 and also e5 square so white can play from here is good as well okay come to the main point bishop d7 e d4 d5 e takes d5 knight f6 then bb5 check and black will play bishop d7 bishop d7 so now you have to return your bishop to e2 
just like a tempo after knight takes d5 d4 bishop f5 knight f3 e6 short castle bishop e7 a3 here our main plan is after a3 then next move c4 after a3 black will castle now c4 knight b6 knight c3 black will play and c6 h3 this is only waiting move and open up your back rank mate after h3 black will play bishop f6 threatening to your d4 pawn there are three attackers knight queen and bishop and white has only two support knight and queen so after bishop f6 no worry about it bishop e3 will come queen d7 b4 strong pawn structure on fourth rank r8 d8 and queen b3 this is also very 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 good pawn structures and also white all pieces are fully developed so you can play very good game from white side after second move knight f6 okay come to the regular line after second move queen d5 what will you do so first e4 d5 e takes d5 and queen takes d5 this is main line of scandinavian defense so here knight c3 attack this queen regular line queen a5 will go this is a famous opening move for black now white should play here d4 black will play knight f6 knight f3 c6 this is a basically book move because of when bishop will, will come on d2 and knight will give, give a discovered attack so queen can go to d8 or c7 so c6 is a natural move here now white will play bishop d2 bishop f5 and knight e4 this is a discovered attack to black queen if black take your knight by knight or bishop you can simply win the queen so discovered attack after discovered attack queen will go to b6 and threaten to your bishop b2 pawn so after queen b6 white should take this knight for end game pawn structure advantage after knight f6 g takes f6 because of if he takes f6 so simply white will get uh, his bishop to c4 and get attack so here d takes f6 after d takes f6 bishop c4 threaten to f7 black should play here e6 theoretical move now white castle bishop g7 black want to try castle r e1 and black castle here now knight h4 game will be continued from this side knight h4 black played here bishop g6 in a game but after bishop g6 white played here knight takes g6 h takes g6 rook takes e6 this is a very good sacrifice after e takes g6 now 
Bishop takes e6 check. Black will give back his rook to f7 because of king. If king will go to h8 or h7 will be danger in a short time. So black offer his rook to give back rook f7 and white should play here queen g4. White has a very strong attack because the pawn on target. So this is also very attacking position and very attacking lines for white. Okay, many players place third move queen to d6 after queen d5, then queen to d6. Queen d6 uh, line is also famous line. So I will show you today. E4, d5. Let's see here. E takes d5 after queen takes d5. When white plays here, knight c3 and black go to queen d6. So this is not surprise move because this is in line. So white plays here d4. Black plays knight f6. White knight f3 and black should play here a6. Also black can play here bishop to g4, spinning your knight. So if black plays here bishop g4, you can simply move your pawn to s3 after bishop takes f3, queen takes f3, c6 because of threat on queen takes b7. So after c6, Black simply support his pawn to bishop e3, develop his bishop with. After bishop e3, black will play here e6. Long castle playable for white. Queen c7 because of discovered attack. Queen c7, simply move your king to b1, be a waiting move. King b1, knight b7, followed by develop. Bishop c4. This position also playable for white. Okay. What will done after bishop h5, e4, d5, e takes d5, queen takes d5, knight c3, queen d6, d4, and f6, and f3, and bg4 instead of a6. So here s3, bishop h5, simply g4 you can play, bishop g6, after bg6, white should play here knight e5, black will play c6, bishop f4, discovered attack, now knight into b6 threat. Black will play here knight d5 for exchange bishop or knight. Here you should not exchange and support your bishop by queen d2. Knight takes f4. After queen takes f4, black will play his knight to d7. White should long castle here. Knight takes e5. D takes e5, queen c7, bishop d3, after bishop takes d3, rook takes d3, and black king is stuck in the center. So, this is also playable for white. Okay, let's see what about the main line 26, e4, d5. He takes d5, queen takes d5, after knight c3, black will play queen d6, knight d4, black knight f6, and knight f3, here black plays here, a6. So, now you can play g3, followed by bishop f4. So, g3, black will pin your knight, bg4, no worry about it, move pawn to s3 after bishop takes f3 queen takes f3 and queen is uh, attacking on b7 pawn so 
black should play here c6 also bishop e3 support your pawn after and bd seven long castle by white e6 for open his black bishop and now you can play bishop f4 because of uh, d4 pawn is guarded by this room. so bishop f4 with a small advantage for white like it, uh, but this is also playable for white and i hope you will enjoy this video so please like and subscribe this channel so i can make so many videos for you thank you guys goodbye jai hind